President Sali leaves to meet the first engagement on her Brazos 2014 agenda. She arrives at the HLP on Fragile States meeting at the Martins Brazos EU Hotel. This event is also convened to launch the final report of the high-level panel on fragile states entitled Ending Conflict and Building Peace in Africa, a Call to Action. At this special program at the margins of the EU-Africa Summit, President Salif is joined by her counterpart, President John Mahamar of Ghana, experts, authors of the report, and representatives from African countries and the civil society organizations. When a country has low income characterized by weak state capacity, leaving the people vulnerable to a range of shock, that state is fragile. In order to address the issue of handling fragile states, thereby eliminating the possibility of post-crisis countries from slipping back into violence, the African Development Bank Group set up the panel to advise the institution on handling fragility on the continent. As chair of the eight-member panel, President Salif gives further insight on what constitutes fragility. Fragility experienced by states when internal or external pressures become too great for national institution and political processes to manage, thereby creating a risk of violence. Needless to say, the most vulnerable of such states are post-conflict countries, like my own Liberia, not only did the Liberian leader define fragility, here she also advances the antidote to fragility, including some of the measures state must take to avoid experiencing shock that its system cannot withstand. It's important that all of our friends and supporters, all of those who have invested so much in African development, join in the call of this report for adequate policy responses to disruptive social, economic, and environmental changes by building resilience in our states and in our societies. After an impressive presentation, somebody in the audience called for an applause for Madame Salif. For his part, Ghanaian President John Mahama expressed concern for the inequalities in trade between Africa and Europe. He said it is very easy for Africa to export its raw material to Europe, but very difficult to export finished product to the European market. He proffered some ideas on the way forward. And so what we're saying is, we want to restructure our economy. We produce agro agricultural products. We want to bring some of the value addition and processing into Africa in order that we are able to find jobs for the growing number of young people. After the HLP meeting, Madame Salif arrives at the Justo Lopsius building for the opening session of the EU Africa Summit. At the summit venue, Madame Salif is here in a meeting with Mr. Mark Simmons. Mr. Simmons is a member of parliament and minister of Africa at the Commonwealth Office in the UK. He too is here to attend the summit and he has asked to meet the Liberian president in a closed door bilateral meeting. And we talked about the bilateral programs, also talked about encouraging private investment in Africa and he mentioned the hummingbird. Um, project which is still under negotiations with us mm -hmm. about bringing it to a conclusion so we can create jobs. We talked about uh, the omnial drawdown and the support that's needed for the security sector, particularly the training of police. After attending side meetings and the formal opening of the fourth EU Africa Summit, Liberian President calls it a day in Brazos and she returns to her hotel suite to get prepared for another day of full activities as a head of a sovereign African state. For ROCR TV News, my name is Mamadi Diakite reporting.